Dick Grayson, Batman Reborn, is a story arc from DC Comics that takes place after the events of Batman, Butter for the Call. Following Bruce Wayne's apparent death, Dick Grayson, formerly known as the First Robin and later Nightwing, reluctantly takes on the mantle of Batman to protect Gotham City. The story follows Dick as he struggles to live up to Bruce's legacy while trying to establish his own identity as Batman. Unlike Bruce, Dick brings his unique approach to the role, emphasizing agility and acrobatics over brute force. He is joined by Damian Wayne, Bruce's son, who becomes the new Robin. Their partnership is marked by tension and conflicting ideologies, as Damian is ruthless and eager to prove himself, while Dick tries to uphold Batman's principles. Throughout the arc, Dick faces various challenges, including villains like Two-Pace and Professor Pig, as well as internal struggle about whether he can ever truly fill Bruce's shoes. The story also explores the dynamic between Dick and the rest of the Bat family, including Tim Drake, now Red Robin, and Barbara Gordon, now Oracle. Dick Grayson Batman Reborn is a pivotal moment in the Batman mythos, showcasing Dick's growth as a hero and his determination to honor Bruce's legacy while carving out his own path as the Dark Knight. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing the DC Multiverse Dick Grayson Batman based from the story arc Batman Reborn. By the luck of the draw, I was able to get the Platinum Edition which is the Blue Chase variant. Moving forward, if I'm still able to get the regular version of this figure, I'll be making a separate comparison video. Now, let's start with the review and hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy my video, please don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. It will really help my channel a lot. Now, please enjoy. From out of the box, he comes with the closed fist hands holding what I would call butt knuckles. I must admit, they really look so cool. He also comes with a pair of open hands posed in the shape of a claw. He also comes with a pair of weapon holding hands. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with any, not even a single battering. The figure scales at 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. He also comes with a standard McFarlane art card with a short biography at the back and standard McFarlane base or stand with the DC logo now let's start and have a look at the head articulation Now, let's have a look at the shoulder and arms articulation.
Now let's have a look at the abdominal cut and waist rotation. Now let's have a look at the leg articulation. I love that McFarlane have now been uh, using soft goods and wires for the keep of their figures. So yeah, I, I am a fan. I am a fan of wire keep. For me, I think it increases the fun factor of the figure. My only problem is this: the shape that they've given the cloth for me is not enough in order for you to post Batman completing the whole bat shape so I if, if you will see the, the cloth is only up to here instead of up to here in order for you know in order for us to pose him attacking and forming the shape of a bat now for some size comparison here he is with Tim Drake Robin. This Robin is really oversized. Here he is with Val Kilmer Batman. Here he is with Adam West Batman. Here he is with the uh, Batman Forever Robin. Here he is with classic Superman. And finally, here he is with Joker. Overall, this is a good figure. Reusing the Nightfall Batman body mold is a good uh, decision for this figure since uh, Dick Grayson's version of Batman is slimmer. Uh, the only thing that could have made this uh, figure perfect is they could have at least given him a unmasked head. So, you know, to identify him as Dick Grayson, Dick Grayson instead of Bruce Wayne. Right now, the only distinguishing mark for me uh, to know that this is the the Batman version of Dick Grayson is the belt. Uh, for improvement, uh, as I said, um, I love the fact that McFarlane is now reusing wired cape for the figures. It definitely increased the fun factor of the action figure and as McFarlane said on the last week's interview it is cheaper for them to use a uh, sub goods escape so they'll be able to afford to increase uh, the accessories of the figure like alternate pants but uh, as I said earlier they could have at least shaped the plot of the cape in order for us to be able to pose him jumping or gliding in the shape of a bat. Right now I noticed that with the cloth that they've been using I, I cannot do that. I know it's an additional material but this is Batman. We will always gonna need to pose him jumping gliding using his cape to in order to look or uh, show the shadow of the bat on the ship. Anyway, guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It will really help my channel. And as usual, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.